there won't be a just transition if affected people are not in the center of the discussion. One of the main achievements is a real focus on women and energy poverty affected people as actors of change, particularly single moms, also elderly women living alone, caretakers with children, in a way that we can access um, and offer these tools and this network so that they can improve the situation and also get a little bit of calm and comfort, but also raising their voices because they are the ones that know how it is to experience 24 hours without light. The Empowerment Project uh, runs in seven countries in Europe and intends to alleviate energy poverty in the coastal Mediterranean areas by empowering 10,000 people. The initiative can help mainly women to improve their situation and knowing their rights, knowing they can count on several collectives and organizations and also trying to be comprehensive with impacts that are not always studied and tackled, um, as such as health. When we put like a lot of people in a collective assembly, the strength from the collectivity is like very, very high. So this collective assembly provides the strength and provide the tools to the affected families to be able to generate this collective change led by affected people and not only led by people that have technical or political backgrounds or research backgrounds. The project has a very strong impact on women's self-esteem and on on women's capacity to take care from their families and to be independent. El asesoramiento a mí me ha servido personalmente para empoderarme, para estar tranquila. Para mí fue, fue un verdadero apoyo encontrar y hacer una piña conjunta y, y, y ayudarnos en la medida que podamos. Sobre todo apoyo moral y, y darnos cariño y fuerza para seguir adelante. Para mí ha sido muy importante llegar a la the network we have created and the tools can be replicable in other countries and contexts. We needed this project across Europe to put together like the fight of several organizations and countries to promote uh, practical situations to fight energy poverty, but also to promote and to implement policy recommendations and policy solutions that are needed. I think it's an opportunity for all the women and organizations to show that things can be done differently with profit not in the center, but human rights in the center.